Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and yes, today we're just going to do a small guide on the new fisherman, you know, uh, the new um, trader at the outposts, which sells you the fishing gear that we've been waiting for such a long time. Okay. So I'm currently here at the Z0 or the A0 trader. Okay. And if you guys didn't know, um, you can buy the rafts. Um, and the paddle boards, the stand-up paddle boards at the C2 trader. But at, at the other three traders that's connected to the ocean, that's where you will be able to buy the boats and the, what I call the speed boats, okay? Um, just quickly here. Um, that there is this motorboat is, of course, the fastest, the most agile boat in the game okay so if you guys really want to have some fun on the water and have a major advantage speed wise and handling wise then the motorboat is by far the better option um you can paddle both without having um you know petrol in them or diesel in them um so yeah the price difference here it's a no-brainer okay if you're going to buy a boat um Buy the motorboat, okay? It's, it's the coolest one to drive. Um, then, of course, yes, you can you can buy a raft. You can buy a stand-up paddle board. You can buy salted fish. Just remember, if you look at Amur, okay, let's let's look at uh, Angler salted fillet, okay? It's $58 one piece because it's salted. So it will last a lot longer. But if you go to fresh food... You're going to get the angler fillet for $102, okay? Or, yeah, 102 currency. The difference is the salted is just one piece. As you guys will see here in my inventory, I did the, I did the work for you guys because, as you guys know, I always give you as much information and I give you a complete guide when I talk about something. So I just went and cooked all the, all the fish that you can buy, okay? And you can clearly see if you buy the meat you know the raw fish you get three pieces but when you buy a salted piece you only get one piece yes it will last longer but you can salt the fish yourself so in my personal opinion it's a waste to buy the salted fish unless you're very very desperate i'd rather first go find fish okay at the at the salt mine okay or buy salt and then i'll and then i'll just salt my own yeah, I'll just salt my own fish and save money because I'm paying like, I'm definitely paying, you know, process is 50. So for three pieces is 160 and here I can get three pieces for 100. Okay, so I'm saving 33% of my money over the long run. Um, okay, and except for the fish, one thing that I like is the paddles that you can buy. Um, paddles are quite trade, difficult to find. So, of course, you can buy all the kinds of fishing gear, okay, which is very, very nice. So, you guys can really have some fun with the fishing, which is great. But the big thing, you know, the big thing for me is the paddles. I, lo I love the fact that you can buy the paddles now. Um, in my personal opinion, it does make a difference um, when you use a paddle instead of crafting a paddle, okay? I did see a difference in, in handling, okay? But that was a while ago. But it's just cool, okay, that you can buy pedals. So that's quite cool. And yeah, that's about it for, hunky -dory. it for the trader, okay? Now, if I'm, I'm just going to spawn in a Slowly fish here, okay? So let's just spawn in um, animal, a more. Okay, I don't think you can, no. So let me just check here. That's an animal, okay? So let's go bleak. Okay, yeah. So if you we if we spawn a fish, okay, let's just see if you can sell a fish on its own. Ahoy there. You can, but it's not really worth it. Okay, so let's go so look at now. let's go look at look at tuna. Tuna is a big fish. Okay, tuna is one of the biggest fish you can catch. It's not worth it, guys. It's not worth selling the fish on their own. Okay, definitely, definitely not worth it. Um, but if you, you know, if, of course, if you cut them up, let me just spawn in a Bushman here. 
Yeah, of course, if you cut them up. So we got 20. If we sell the tuna on its own, we get 20. Okay? So the, but the tuna gives us four, four pieces of fish. Okay? So now, if we go here, Step right we already doubled the money. Okay? We already doubled the money from the tuna just by chopping it up. Okay? And then we can Slow salt them. Now. So we went to 40 now. Okay? So let's just go to salt. Salt, grain, let's just, let's just go sea salt, that's fine. Okay, so we, we had it at 20, so now let's salt them. Okay. Click on the salt, click on the fish. Okay, so previously we got 10 per piece. Okay, so we went from 20 to 40. Step right up. And then we got a little bit more. So because we salted all three pieces, we're getting 15 now. So 15 times 4 gets us to $60. Okay, so now you can get $60 from a tuna if you process it properly. Okay, so just letting you guys know. Of course, the salted is the best value, but if you don't want to salt it, at least cut the fish up to get double of value. Okay, um, it is a way to make money. I mean, you can stand, you, you, know, you, you can, you can catch fish, you can catch fish all day. But the big thing for me is, guys, is the is the fish themselves. Okay, fish is a really really good diet. So I just want to see what. Out of all the fish that you can buy, which one gives you the best nutrition? And as you guys will see here, I cooked all of them. Okay, so let's just quickly let's just quickly see here. I'm gonna eat one piece of bass. Okay, these are the steaks and these are the fillets. Okay, so I'm gonna eat one piece of um, bass. We're just gonna average it out. That's eight, eight and one. Okay, that's eight and one. Now we're gonna eat a piece of um, catfish. Mm, roughly the same, okay. Something's giving us a ton of vitamin D. Catfish. Okay, so the catfish is giving us a ton of vitamin D. That's bloody awesome. That's bloody awesome. As you guys can see, a lot of minerals here, okay? A lot of vitamins in the fish. A lot of vitamins in the fish and even minerals, okay? A lot of different minerals as well. So fish is, fish is a really, really good thing. It's not giving us a lot of calories. That's the only bad thing about it. But of course, we can eat an entire piece. We can eat all three pieces at once. Okay, so what I mean by all three pieces, instead of you just getting 160 calories per bite and it working through your system very, very fast, you can eat um, an entire European bass, eat all. Okay, so if you eat the entire piece, then it should give us like eight times three is 24. So it should give us about 24 protein. And you can see the protein to fat ratio is excellent. Okay. So now it's going to give us, um, it, we're going to end at about 160 times 4, about, about 800, 900. No, it's still just going to fall one circle. I forgot about that. So again, every circle gives you the same kind of calorie, the same kind of minerals. It's just the circle is going to last a lot longer okay so that's up to you personally it goes through my system a little bit too far so you know i'd rather i'd rather eat all i don't want to keep eating fish constantly okay i'd rather eat all but again 160 to get to about a thousand calories you know that you want to get to you need to eat at least like seven seven you know seven whole pieces so in any case, um, that one, yeah, it's 24, so that one's not giving us any benefit. Rough, let's just look at the rough. 
Yeah, Ruff is not gonna give us benefits. Um, a more. Amor is the same. Mm -hmm. uh, um, scorpion fish. Scorpion fish is... No, no, scorpion fish not good. Only 5 and 0 0.5, guys. Stay away from scorpion fish. You know? All the others look all right. Look all right. Okay, scorpion fish not good. Bleak. Bleak looks average. And not the best. But as you guys can see, our vitamin D is going up at a massive speed. Okay, so fish. If, you, if you're struggling with vitamin D, guys, just eat bloody fish. Okay. What is this? This is carp. No. This is angler. Nothing special. Tuna. Come on, tuna. Tuna. Who the man? Who the man, tuna? Who the man? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tuna is definitely 11 and 0 0.4. A heck, not a lot of fat at all, uh, but the most protein. But not by much, guys. It's not easy to catch a tuna, okay? A tuna is the biggest fish um, in the ocean, and a catfish is the biggest fish in the in, in the rivers, you know, in the clear water. And a tuna is the biggest fish in salt water. So if you're looking at the, at the advantages, no, it's not really worth it. So now let's go look at the steak. I'm not going to eat the salted steak because that still gives you repulsion. So let's look at the steak. Let's eat the catfish steak. Okay, catfish steak, no, no extra. What is this angler? I don't think an angler is going to make any difference. No. Angler, no difference. Tuna steak, eat. So that's, okay, whatever. Yeah, tuna steak. Tuna steak is good at, as well. A tuna steak is good as well. Carp steak. No, nothing special. And then the pike steak. Eat. Okay, so clearly if you're buying... If you're buying um, fish... Then the catfish and the tuna is at the top. Okay. The catfish and the tuna is at the top. Now, let's see how much more we're going to pay for that. Ahoy there. Okay, so the tuna is 102. Everything is 102, guys. So, by far, the tuna and the catfish wins by a mile. Okay, because the catfish is the biggest fish that you can catch in the clean, in, you know, in the dam or in a river, and the tuna is the biggest fish that you can catch in the ocean. And because they're all the same price, the 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 catfish and the tuna wins by a mile. And you guys can see just because I ate that fish oh, now. Look at where our vitamin D is. 134%. Vitamin 12. Look look at everything that's over hundred percent, guys. The fish gave us vitamin A, gave us that, it gave us that, 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 that. Uh, didn't really give us vitamin K, okay? So, didn't really give us vitamin D, didn't really give us vitamin C. But we can we can solve that with other things that we eat. You know, if we go at, if we go here, um, dandelions, black pepper, broccoli, cabbage, you know, ramsons, kiwi, kiwi is great. You know, kiwi is great, so that's quite easy to solve that. Vitamin E, cornflakes, very easy to solve. Vitamin C, cornflakes, very easy to solve. Okay, but it gave us all the other stuff. Look at look at the minerals. Okay, it gave us all the minerals that we need. So you know, if you if you never want to see red deer, fish is definitely the way to go. And look at how our protein is being boosted by a massive rate, but our fat not. Okay, our fat intake isn't high at all. So in my opinion, fish is going to be the best way for you to. 
um, manage your diet a lot better. Okay, if you want to eat one piece of fish at a time, great. You know, if you want to eat three, even if you eat three fish at the same time, you know, you can see this, this base, okay, is taking a lot longer. The bass is taking a lot longer because we ate three pieces, okay. But in any case, it's still the most effective diet in the game, guys. It's the easiest. Now that you can buy a fishing rod and buy all the fishing gear, you know, you can fish forever instead of going trying to hunt an animal. So it's just a positive thing all around for me, okay? And if I am right, let's just do a test here quickly, okay? If I am right, like, I'll never do this. I think it's a bit boring, but let's do it quickly, okay? So we buy a fishing rod, and then we buy a floater, and then we buy a triple fish hook. And then we buy mm. oh, sardine fish bait is fine. Buy that. And then we always go for the 0 0.5 line. Okay. Always go for the 0 0.5 line. How much is that? 800. Hmm. That's There's quite expensive. So let's just buy three, in me bones. three lines. And then we go for... Okay, we've got the hook. Mm, fishing reel. Not much of a price difference. I'd rather take this one. Not much of a price difference. And that's it. I think that's it. Eh? We've got the floater. We've got the hook. We've got everything. Card. Buy. Okay. So now what we do is we put this in our hands. Trade keeps the world going. Um, trade keeps the world going. Okay. Okay. That's good. So let's just grab all of this quickly. I think we've got everything that we need. All I want to check, guys, is, you know, can you just sit here at the safe zone so that you're not worried about getting killed or whatever, okay? So let's put the fishing rod there. First, we put in the reel. Um, then we put on the line. Then we put on the floater. Then we put on the hook. And then we put on the bait like a real fisherman, okay? Uh, let's just see, yeah? Can you just... Fish here, by the safe zone. Yes, guys, you can clearly fish at the safe zone, okay? Clearly. And there we go. Okay, so you can fish at the safe zone. So that took me like... That took me like five minutes, okay? That took me like five minutes to catch, and now I say chop. Okay, it's giving me two fillets. Not far. That took me 30 seconds, guys. It took me 30 seconds to catch that fish. Okay, so I don't really mind. With the amount of fish that you can catch, oh, I'd say yeah. you, you eat all most of the time. Okay. And um, looks like I can sell those because I cooked it. These aren't cooked. Which is weird. I didn't cook this tuna. Hmm. Interesting. But in any case, guys, at least you can, at least you can, um, you know, at least you can 
catch it. Let's just see if we can fix the orata with some salt. Let's just see if we can fix this with some salt. Okay, let's put it here. That's the salted piece. Ahoy there we go. There. Okay. So that's thirty. That's thirty dollars right there. If you salt, if you salt all the all the fish. But in any case, guys, you can have a fantastic diet. This is a great implementation. And just to end the video off, I just want to, I just want to talk a bit about the about the patch notes. Okay, the things that stand out to me um, in the patch notes is, of course, the weapon, the weapons that look. You know, you can see their durability, which is quite cool. The optimization is, you know, was very, very important to me. And then the mushrooms. Remember, um, if you guys want me to make a mushroom video to show you which mushrooms are, you know, will make you throw up or repulse you and which mushrooms don't, you know, I'll make a video about that. So the mushrooms was quite important to me. The optimizations was quite important to me. Um... The desync, you know, when you fire a gun like an AK and it, you just stop hearing the gun after about, you know, about 20 rounds. Um, that was important to me. And, um, yeah. You know, then they gave they gave the admins two extra commands um, to do. Another big change is the fact that the vehicle repair kits and the airplane repair kits, was it both? Okay, we've got the poisonous mushrooms. Was it both? Um, airplane loading will be empty. Yeah, the vehicle repair kit is now just 20 uses, but they still cost the same. Okay, which is a little bit which is a little bit weird to me. Okay. They still cost the same, which I'm not I'm not completely crazy about that. I don't really understand why the developers did that. You know, because the cars are glitchy. You know, there's a ton of rocks on the map. Um, you know, you can break your car quite easily. So, yeah, not really sure why they did that. But the weapon damage is nice. The fisherman is going to add a lot of value to the servers. Um, just know that you know you you get you get poisonous mushrooms now, so don't you know you'll find out as soon as you eat the wrong mushroom. It's not all the mushrooms; it's just certain mushrooms that are poisonous now. And of course, like I said, the vehicle you know the vehicle repair kits are only twenty uses, but they are the same oh, price. Right. Of course, a I lot of optimization, which I can see, like the characters in the traders almost look two D from the front now i can clearly see a graphical difference okay it looks like a 2d image but of course you can walk around them okay so they definitely have made optimizations and like i told you guys if you buy a vehicle repair kit now it only has 20 uses but it's still the same price prices are not negotiable uh, you know not really sure why they did that and if we go at, if we go in the airplane repair kit, okay, the airplane repair kit's also just 20 uses, okay? Now, the big thing is because they're such big money makers, okay, they're still very big money makers. So the price hasn't changed, okay? So you can still make a ton of money. We, I, I will look if the spawn rates are more or less, okay? But you can still make a ton of money with them, especially when their durability is very high. If anyone knows how to repair an airplane repair kit, please leave it down in the comments below and I'll highly appreciate it. In any case, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you um, learned something, do me a favor, just click the like button. And if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum, just click the subscribe button, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.